2015 right now. Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning, guys. I'm trying to figure out what morning. year this song came out. Hang on one second. What year did it come out? I, I'm, okay, I'm, you can I'm, Google. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Are you Google. Shazamming Google. that? So this is, uh, the name of this song is Puppy Love, and there's a reason yeah. for that. I'll let you take the torch from here. Well, uh, I was going to just mention, Liz can't join us this morning because she's dropping Theo off at school. Oh. First day of kindergarten. So mm -hmm. excited for excited for him. That's All really right. sweet. Um, the, the, year, yes. the year that this song, Puppy Love, came out by Dolly Parton, uh -huh. 1959. 1959. She's been and a star it's all coming full circle because Dolly has launched a new line of pet apparel. How cool is that? Of course she has. As if a Friday before a long weekend wasn't reason enough to celebrate. I'm sure Travis is celebrating with sockless Fridays. But yes, Dolly <laughs> Parton has announced a line of dog apparel, two toys, and it is called Doggy Parton. Doggy Parton. I love <laughs> so it good. so much. Look at that. The best part about this whole thing is she even included a line of wigs for dogs. Now, I'm not sure I would throw <laughs> one of those on my dogs unless I was dressing them up as Dolly Parton for Halloween. But you know what? Why not? Dog. Yeah, yeah. May maybe it wouldn't work as well on like a golden retriever. Oh, look at mid, those little collars. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. <laughs> it's just one of those, it's another one of those things like, of course she would, you know? Like it's, right? it's that's Dolly being Dolly, it's pretty great. Doggy I'm party. surprised it took so long for this to happen. The, the entire line is <laughs> up on, on the Amazon marketplace right now. You can always go to her website, dollyparton.com, I think it is, if you want to uh, find some of this stuff. But it is out there, and it's all inspired by some of her classic themes, like, you know, flannel, jean shorts, all that sort of stuff. Luckily, she left her Playboy outfits out of the line. So, <laughs> we, uh, but I am here for this. I love Dolly Parton, and it, it is just a reason to celebrate our furry friends. Well, she you, so you have fun. a dog at home. You have two dogs. Yeah. Are, yep. are you, are you going to dabble in the dog line? I'm going to have to get line? a little, uh, little bandana for mm -hmm. Samwise, or maybe some Daisy Dukes. He would be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you're I'm sure Sam, Sam would Samwise love the Daisy and, Dukes. And Daisy Dukes. I was going to say, I could just put my own shorts on him. It would probably fit the same. Back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so that's wow. really cute, though. Yeah, good really good for her. She's such a savvy business lady. She is. Yeah. She is. Gotta love it. All right, mm -hmm. so we've all been waiting for this Lord of the Rings prequel to drop. It finally came out yesterday. You know, haven't haven't seen it yet. You know, th Thursday night's not a no, great night on a work I'm night. making myself wait till the weekend. Yeah, but but what was the reception like? Uh, the reception was phenomenal. The critics are raving about it. They're even bringing in the Game of Thrones new series, House of Dragon, which launched a couple weeks ago, and they're saying that this is 10 times better than that. Wow. Which I take a little bit of offense to because I am not a Lord of the Rings person, but the Rings of Power dropped their first two episodes yesterday on Amazon, Plus, or, uh, Amazon Prime. And this is the most expensive TV series ever made. $465 million in the first season alone they spent. Holy cow. Yeah, it's incredible. How many episodes are we going to get? You know what? I have no idea. I'm going to let Emily take the reins on this. Because <laughs> I, I, made it about... I think it's a 10 episode season, is but it? I could be wrong. Wow. I don't know. $65 yeah, they... million. Dollars. So they dropped the first two yeah. to get you in there and get you hooked. Um, it looks awesome. And, and, you know, it's one of those things like it got the blessing of the Tolkien estate because mm. this is similar to, to Harry Potter and, and some of those bigger franchises. Um, they've really done a good job of controlling the narrative and, and the stories, and, and they're, they're not just signing off on any kind of spin-off right, out right. there. Right, right. Taking so care of the, the story structure It's that's a lot been in place. to get the Tolkien family to sign on to these projects. I'm excited um, it, it's, it's received such great reviews because it's I don't really watch that many shows. Mm -hmm. and, and this is one of the few that I've like, okay, I, I need to see this. Were you a Lord of the Rings fan, Travis? Because I, I made it late, about 20 late, minutes into late in each life, movie. And late in life, Lord of the Rings kind of a come around. I, I never really had seen it until, I want to say, high school. I didn't, really? I didn't grow up with it, didn't read it, and then... Yeah, but I, I am a fan now. Uh, yeah, and I've come around. Oh, yeah. I read the books as a kid, and then when the movies came out, I was obsessed. And, yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, my dog's name is Samwise, so clearly. Yeah, there, there, there's an opinion Big fan. There. Big fan. There, yes. there certainly is. I don't know if I'll be checking it out. I, I think I kind of want to invest into it just a little bit, at least watch an episode because of the amount of money they've invested into right? it. The only mm. criticism I saw is that there were a couple of character flaws that uh, do not, was there a book series that predecessed this? 
Well, so what's interesting is this series, The Rings of Power, it's based on the second age of Middle Earth. The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings are the third age of Middle Earth. So this is thousands of years before the characters in Lord of the Rings, at the risk of sounding too nerdy. Basically, you don't <laughs> have to have watched all of the other movies to, to get into this story. It might help to have a basic understanding of kind of Middle Earth mm. and Tolkien's world and what he designed. I do think the, the nerdy train is. Too, la left. too late, yeah. already left the station? It's, it's okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That but thing there's, is I'm sure there are people that have gone so deep into the canon who will say, oh, this character wasn't ever referenced here and that. But I'm okay. watching. That's all it's I okay. know. It's okay. I'm going to gonna, I'm gonna pop my popcorn and just be Absolutely. excited no matter what. Uh, well, you got a long weekend to nerd out to the fullest, Emily. Go Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. All right, Mike, we'll see you on Monday. Take care, guys. All right, see ya. And you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.